Do you want to be a pony? In your mind, you can become one. Believe in a new reality and let it become true. Trick your brain into accepting a new vision of yourself. This is to be hypnotized. Pony Hypnosis is a project dedicated to helping you to convince yourself that you are a pony. All of the information and files related to the project can be found in the Google document linked in the description, which also contains a bunch of tips both for achieving hypnosis and for creating hypnotic audio files. Inside the doc you'll find files for each of the main six ponies. These tend to be audio files ranging from 15 to 20 minutes long in which a soothing voice hypnotizes you into feeling as though you are whichever pony you are trying to become. Currently I've only listened to the Twilight Sparkle file, and my purpose in this video is to communicate what I listened to, what I experienced, and where I intend to go from here in following this project. So the hypnosis basically induces a deep state of relaxation and then describes imagery and words related to the being of Twilight Sparkle before slowly instructing the listener on how their body is transforming. I wish I could explain this in terms that make more sense, but you'll have to listen to it for yourself to fully understand. The first time I listened to the file, I did so while lying in bed, fully following the instructions given. I was able to achieve a deep meditation and certain aspects of the transformation were felt. I could easily visualize my hands and feet as hooves, as well as the shape of having Twilight head, most especially the horn. The most difficult thing was trying to visualize my legs as being pony legs, because obviously pony legs have an extra confusing joint. I tried walking around on four legs, but it felt too awkward for me to buy into it. That said, hypnosis isn't a one-time deal, and I haven't given up. As per the suggestion in the Google Doc, perseverance is the real key to success here. Believing that it won't work or that it's bullshit will only sever one's ability to be hypnotized. You have to believe that it's possible in order for it to become possible. One's ability to become a pony will largely depend on their desire and determination. Trying the hypnosis for shits and giggles will not likely have any lasting effect. Trying it with the real desire to succeed will make it much more likely to happen. This is the hurdle that I have to jump with this project. I am very interested and I'm generally good at inducing psychic states on myself, but I'm not good at wanting it enough. The biggest propulsion of desire for me in doing this is just the experience of doing it, more so than the desire to actually become Twilight Sparkle. However, I nonetheless find this intensely fascinating and am far from giving up. I have listened to the loop a few more times, once while in a meditative state, though I was not attempting to actually achieve full hypnosis, and once just as background music, which has led me close to actually memorizing a lot of the script. I realized that some of the problems I have with entering the hypnotic state come with the reading. Taurus, who reads Twilight Sparkle, has an excellent voice, but he stumbles over a few lines and I can't help but notice it out of my heavily honed critical ear for technicality in readings, hence why I edit the audio in my videos to reflect a certain rhythm and a lack of breathing. There are also things that I get hung up on thinking about, like when it gets to the point where I'm supposed to gain big blue eyes and long feminine lashes, which I already have. I've thought about modifying the script to suit my personal needs, and I've also gone ahead and recorded myself reading the Twilight script just to try my hand at it. I will upload this recording shortly after this video goes up. I don't know if it's a good idea for me to go behind the scenes of the same hypnosis that I'm trying to undergo, but what's done is done. The Google Doc advises that you try listening to the audio files on loop while you sleep leading up to attempting the hypnosis, and I haven't had a chance to try this yet. I also haven't had a chance to try it with ear covering headphones, which my brother has a nice pair of. Once I've done those things and experimented more with the Twilight Twilight Sparkle reading, I'll make more videos on this subject as a way of gonzo blogging my progress. Depending on how things go with the Twilight Hypnosis, I may then also attempt to become one of the other ponies, or contribute more recordings to the project for ponies that haven't been covered already. In the meantime, I hope that some of you will join me in exploring the world of pony hypnosis, and tell me about your own findings, either in the comments here or on my blog. I'm very interested in your stories, even if some of them are bound to be stupid and made up. Also, let me know what you think of my hypnosis recording, and whether you think I should do more, and what I can do to improve it.